Hormonal changes in women and how best to treat them have been medical topics for decades. All new at 6, KV's Jim Bergamo joins us with why the emphasis is now focused on hormonal changes in men. Jim? Well, hi there, Terry Tyler. Just as in women, men are finding low hormone levels can negatively affect physical stamina and results in mood swings. Doctors have also found low hormone levels can negatively affect those men trying to have children. Andy Compton of Cedar Park would often work out hard to help relieve the stress of his job, but he says despite tough workouts and a strict diet, he kept gaining weight. Just one of many things that weren't adding up regarding his physical well-being. From staying up too late at night, waking up too early in the morning, I just started feeling bad. You know, my quality of life wasn't where I wanted it to be. More fun with your family. Compton started reading about and seeing ads on TV for low T or low testosterone. Come on, stop living in the shadows. You've got a life to live. Now today we know that there's 13 million men in the United States that are diagnosed with low testosterone every year. And we think about less than 5% are actually being treated and seeking treatment. Dr. Parviz Kavusi is a reproductive urologist at St. David's South Austin Medical Center. He says low T can cause fatigue or sexual side effects, as well as emotional side effects like depression or agitation. What we used to call, well, we're just getting a little bit older, and these are effects of us just getting a little older. Now we're saying, no, this is a hormonal deficiency. Cavusi says often simply raising the testosterone levels solves the problem, but he says testosterone replacement can negatively impact men trying to have children, men like Compton and his wife, Natalie. The body can't differentiate between the testosterone that I give a man and the testosterone that that man makes naturally. Cavusi says that makes the testosterone and sperm-making parts of the body think they're doing a great job, thus not work as hard. So sperm counts will significantly drop, and a lot of times they'll drop down to zero. Compton was given Clomid, which is normally used to induce ovulation in women. Compton says he also started noticing a dramatic improvement in his quality of life. He's sleeping longer, resulting in more energy and endurance. Now he and Natalie are hoping the next positive effect will be a pregnancy in the near future. Clomid is FDA approved for women, but not for men. Despite that, Dr. Cavusi says it's widely prescribed for men and is considered safe. Dr. Cavusi has written a soon to be released textbook detailing the hormonal changes in men and how best to treat them. Terry Totter.